Happy Saturday, y'all. Can y'all believe that I thought today was Friday? This is what I mean. I need to get some rest, clear my head, because I really thought today was Friday. No, 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 boo-boo. So anyways, happy Saturday, y'all. I hope I found you in great health. I hope I found you in great spirits. And I hope and pray I teach someone something today. Or if I touch your spirit today alone or put a smile on your face is more than anything I can ever, ever, ever want. Anyways, y'all. So today I'm going to talk about... um spiritual growth now i know y'all been hearing me saying spiritual growth spiritual growth spiritual growth so you must be wondering mama what that mean what does that mean you grew spiritually well honey let me tell you something real quick me myself i i don't consider myself a person that is like problemsome or even where a uh, drama or um not really L trying to listen um and when i'm being corrected rebuking correction i don't like i i don't like to think that i'm that type of person where i don't want to be corrected or i just don't see an opportunity ever to grow from you know so spiritually when i mean growth is hear me say oh, i'm on my spiritual growth path and I'm going to explain that. And that can go for every, every anything you want it to be. Relationships, friendships, co-workers, whatever it may be that you need to grow from. Because let's be honest, we all grow from everything. We all learn from something in our life, okay? And I learned from my past relationship to my past friendships, my past family ships, my past work ships. I learned from everything and what to do and what not to do now. Back then, it was more like I was so, like I said before, so quick to say, well, that's false about me. That's this about me. Or just letting things interrupt my peace um, that shouldn't, that should have never it's transpired anyway, you know. But since I was not there as far as growth wise, well, I felt like fighting for everything. All right, about me, even though I know it's not true, really got the best of me. And I had to say, okay, hold up. 34 years old, I'm sick of it. Like, I'm sick of people trying to A, get over on me, B, taking my kindness for weakness, and C, defending my name in situations when I know it's not true. So, what you gonna do, Sharice? Are you gonna constantly live your life fighting and, and trying to clear your name? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You must be like, oh, so you don't fight for what you you know is right? It depends in what circumstances. Now, I know me, and I know that as I got older, I just noticed that some things don't bother me no more. Like, it don't. Like, I just look at it like, oh, my God, please. You know, where it could be family members that I lost connection with and don't bother me. Like, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe God's trying to show me a lesson as to why we're not connected no more. And, you know, I could love that individual, whoever it may be, or even friendships, like an ex-friend of mine. Maybe there's a reason why God is telling me to grow from that. You know, I may not understand it at that particular moment, but I never fought it either. I never fought it. So that right there told, tells me that you got some, you did some spiritual growth, Sharice. You are growing. Because before that, Sharice would have fought her way through to understand why. To see what the problem is when I know I have a clean heart. So why should I go fight something that I know I ain't do nothing. I ain't said nothing. I don't know what happened, Lord. I'm not going to go and do that when I know that spiritual growth is for a reason, okay? I'm not going to talk about them, whomever it may be. I will love from a distance. I love you. If y'all not in my life no more, whomever it may be, um, there's family members, there's friends. Um, listen, I will love you for a distance, but if you're not in my spiritual growth, then I can't rock with it. I can't be around it. So 
I'm actually for the first time in life, but you know, besides my family, you know, my immediate family and you know, the family I created with my husband, I'm happy where I'm not fighting, but I will fight for my respect. That's what I, that's what it is that I will, I am very big on respect and my children, you know, like don't. So my thing is once you find your spiritual growth, once you find you, once you find like, this is not even worth my time. You see how you grow as an individual and listen to me, hunty. I did like, I, like I said, I was so quick to say, but what's your problem? But what's this? No, like if if you know you ain't do no wrong, what? Why you feel the need to go approach? Why? Why? You know, listen. I don't got the time. If it's not benefiting my family, I don't need that individual, that drama, that this, that that. I don't need it. Whatever you want to call it, I don't need it. Because spiritually, I'm on a path where. I wish y'all well. I don't speak ill. I don't want no. I don't speak no malice against anybody. I don't care if you're my enemy. I'm not gonna speak malice about you. I'm gonna pray for you because that's the person I am, and I always will be that person. All right. No one's gonna take me out of my spiritual warpath. I'm good. I done came a long way, y'all. Meaning that I'm. I always look at it like. I'm such a nice person. I give you the shirt off my back if I could. I would make a way out of no way to make sure everyone around me is good. But what about me? What about me? I don't get that end of the stick. So I had to put me first. I had to make sure Sharice is good spiritually, mentally, even when she's done wrong. You know why? Because I'm not going to hinder my blessings for the next one by speaking ill or having ill feelings or speaking with deceit for them. I'm good. I'm good. Y'all can have all that. And this 2021, it's a new journey. 2020 so showed me a lot, brought me through a lot. And I'm forever grateful for the bad, the good, the ugly, the the cries. The ha I'm good. I'm I'm happy for it all, because it brought me to where I'm at. I am today, okay. So don't ever ever say, oh, you know. It, I understand, like when people say it's so horrible last year. Yes, but be grateful that you're learning from it. You learning, unless you're just hard headed, but <laughs> you're learning, you know. And my thing is. You know, this scripture I'm about to read to y'all, Ephesians 4, 14, 15. So Ephesians chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. Sorry, guys. I'm like in a parking lot because I'm going to go to the store after this. So it says that we shall no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning of craftness of deceitful plotting but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head which is Christ now you say what's, what does that mean meaning I'm done being taken for a fool I'm done falling into people's traps I'm done being uh, how you say taking my kindness for weakness or trying to pull me in to their misery no no you're not going to treat me away and think it's okay. You're not going to do that to me no more. Whether it could be your significant other. Your family. It's okay to say no to your family. It's okay to say no to your friends. It's okay to say no to your co-worker. Because you know what? What matters most is you. Make sure your happiness. Your spirit is in good spirits. And your happiness is first. Because in the end of the day. They're not going to make sure you're good. They're not. So you got to look after you, okay? And recognize who's playing you for the fool. Who's taking advantage of you? Because we all know who's genuine and who's not. For real. We all know. So I learned too that I got to start saying no. And it's okay to say no. Because I used to say no and feel so bad. Or I would just give in because I felt so bad. But I wasn't happy. 
man wasn't happy. So I felt like I had to sit there and say yes to make them happy, but in turn, I'm not happy. Um, uh, hello, no. We no, no. We're going to take that. I'm not going to give that ability to you. I'm removing that from you and I'm keeping it hostage in my vault of happiness and spiritual growth. Okay? I'm not no doormat. Am I a nice person? Yes. I have a heart that, oh my God, my man. I mean, everybody tells me this. And it's not, I'm not bragging or nothing. Like It's just, I never, I mean, I heard it like since I was younger. Cherise, you too nice. Cherise. You're this. Cherise, why do you talk to so many people? Like, I don't know. I'm just that way, guys. I'm like my daddy. I'm a social butterfly. Okay? I like to see people genuinely happy. And sometimes that really bit me in my rear end. And I'd be like, why? Why did I Why did I do that? Like, why? I should have just let them fall on their face. But the person that I am and the conviction I had in my heart would allow me too so i gotta learn to say you know what it is okay to say no when i know it's gonna disrupt me and my household or me myself as a human being then no it's no i'm not doing it i'm not doing it period okay so what else the trickery okay by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting so we're going to remove ourselves from the human men meaning human okay like like what i just said like what i just said of the playing me you're playing me meaning it could be a relationship it could be a friendship it could be a workship it could be whatever you know the relationship that you may see this in but it's okay to say, nah, I take that back from you. You're not going to keep playing me for the fool. And I got to be quiet because if I say something back to you, you're going to get mad. So, no. I know I'm not going to live. It's not okay to live your life that way. Where you always got to say yes. But if you say no, everybody has a whole hissy fit. Oh, temper, tantrum. What kind of crap is that? That's not growth. That's not maturity. So no, if you if you only around for me to say yes, then no, no. Mm -mm. That's why I'm okay with the people I excluded on my life. I'm okay with the people that just dropped me out of nowhere for whatever their reasons may be. But I'm pretty sure a lot of it had to happen with my growth spiritually because they're not getting the old Sharice. They're not getting Mama, where Mama used to fight for her right, far as. What other people, what they think about me, what they say. No, no, I don't got time for that. I don't, I don't got time for that. I don't got time to make others happy anymore. I'm happy for myself, for my husband, for my four children. I'm making sure my immediate family is good. My parents, of course, and my brothers, those are the ones there and nearest to me. You know, and I'm making sure they're good. So if you don't want to be around me, whether you family or not, good riddance. I love y'all from a distance, baby. From a distance, because clearly we're not on the same path here. You got some growing to do, or maybe your type of growing is different from my growing, and we just ain't there. Doesn't mean I don't love you. It doesn't mean I don't care for you. It doesn't mean I'm going to disown you as my family member or as an ex friend of mine or whatever. No, it just means. We don't see here. So, and we always bumping heads. Excuse me. We always bumping heads. So, it's time for me just to, mm, you can stay over there. I see you, boo. You're doing good. You know, stuff like that. Who said that, whoever said that you have to just take whatever everybody throws at you because they're family or because they're your friends for a long time or because you got to work there you got to deal with no you don't there's a way of everything and you feel like it's toxic for you have all right to say i don't need this i don't need to take this i'm gonna go on my my spiritual growth and that's what they mean and what god wants me to do and this right here in godly mm -mm. what they're doing and how you feeling what deceitful, we're plotting against them far as you 
are basically trying to find a way to get over and we don't need that we don't need that at all you're you're too intelligent you're too smart you're too amazing to lower your standards and this is how I, i'm not lowering my standards for a soul on this earth. I work too hard to be in the position that I am in. So if you think for a second, a millisecond, that I'm gonna entertain any toxicness, listen, you got me messed up, cause I'm not. I'm so happy, I am so spiritually growing, and the growth that I've seen so far is like, who is this? Sharice? Mama, you always just a fight about people lying on your name. People who don't like you. That's life. I had to learn that's life. Because I always thought, but why nobody like me? I'm so cool. Girl, bye. Grow up and let it go. They don't like you. They're going to talk about you the day you die and even after. What you need to come to terms is be happy on this earth. Live with a purpose. Don't be on earth miserable worrying about Tom, Dick, or Harry. Or what Karen and Tamika and what Becca got to say about you. Or what Maria got to say. No. Bye. You're not putting food on my table. You're not helping me with my bills. You ain't making no payments for me over here, boo. Why should I care? But I will treat people with respect. As long as you give me respect, I give you. That's just how I am. I feel like I'm an easygoing person. You can come talk to me. You can say, hi, Sharice, can I talk to you? You made me feel away. No problem. I got you. Let's talk about it. You know, that's spiritual growth. But um, if you want to talk to me back then, I was ready to fight. Because I was just so, you know what it was? Anger. Because I was just so sick of it. It's so pathetic that now that I look back on it, I'm like, oh, how, how, how I gave people and things the time of day that should have never even had my time of day to even speak to me because it was crap literally waste of my time a waste of my energy i could have put forth into bettering myself that's how i look at it you know what i mean got me all riled up because you know you think back on your growth like dang why i didn't do it different but that's growth that's growth that's the purpose to look back and say, wow, I grew. Like, now I can just listen and be like, are you done? Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But, honey, I'm a new person. So, what you want to do? <laughs> you know? So, again, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love. Meaning speaking the truth in love, like, okay, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you, let me get real close. You could talk to me negatively before I would entertain it. Now I'm like, oh man, God bless them. I mean, God bless their hearts, Lord, because, you know, clearly they don't know no better. And if they do, please speak to them, Lord. Give them, the, give them the guidance, Lord God, because they need it. And I'm not even mocking God. I'm being genuine. I'm literally praying for the negative people or the people who don't want to see you do good in fear of reaching your potential before them. That's deceitfulness. That's just hatred. Like, if you're my friend, why would you sit there and wish ill upon me or don't want me to reach my destiny because it's before you we're supposed to be friends and you're gonna say that about me or, we're, or or whatever the case may be you know and it's just like what are you doing anyway you know be mindful of those people and start eliminating those individuals you guys that are unbeknownst to you because we're so kind-hearted or we choose to see the good in people that we oversee the red flag. And that literally could be interrupting your spiritual growth because you're entertaining it. And you're like, why am I not growing? Because sometimes we need to remove people from our life that no longer needs to be there because they're interrupting your peace. And you don't even know it. They're the ones doing it. So, I'm. what I'm saying is I learn 
from my past, friendships, family ships, all of that. And I am so proud of my spiritual growth that I'm I have to share it with you guys. And I know I said in other videos, I know you might, oh my gosh, she's repeating it. No, I'm gonna get into detail. That's what I'm saying. I got into detail with y'all. I got personal. I got family members who don't like me. I got friends who's who used to be my ride or dies don't like me because I chose my happiness. I'm not going to go running after your tail. For what? Because you bitter about something? Because I don't know what I did, but I'm, I'm, I don't care. The point is, I know I'm clean at heart. And I know, maybe God said, Sharice, this ain't your, this ain't your train to re, be riding with them. They need to go. They were there for a season and you had to hop off. Or I had to hop off. Either way, I wish y'all nothing but love, prosperity, and nothing but greatness in your life. Because I have nothing bad to say. Because clearly, it is what it is, you know? And I'm on a spiritual warpath, baby. And all I can say is, you know, this year, I'm not letting nobody or any year after that. Last year's taught me a lot in the years before that. And I'm glad God has showed me every step of the way, y'all. Every step of the way. So I will insert this um, scripture. I'm going to read it again for y'all because it's just so powerful to me. Oops, my marker. Oh, my pen. So I'm just like, oh, my God. Again, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. Okay. That we should no longer be children, meaning rise up above the foolishness, being tossed back and forth. When people want to just come talk to you whenever it's beneficial to them, or be around you when it's beneficial to them. Or, no, you got to rise above that. Take back your peas. Take back everything, your respect, your, your pride, everything. That's spiritual growth. Taking back what they think they got control of. No, you're not going to have that over me. Are you crazy? That's me. That's that's my ability, not yours. So, um, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men. And it's the way they'll try to con you back in and make believe that you were the wrong, wrong for how you felt when you know, wait a minute, you treat me the way you treat me. I'm still here. And shame on us for allowing it. But then again, it's like we can't even say that because... We try to see the good when we should have known right there and then, but the kindness in us is not letting us see it because we don't want to believe it. But sometimes we need to be like, wait a minute. No, you do this too often. I already done told you about yourself and you keep doing it. I got to go. But sometimes we're so kind hearted. We are our own worst enemies. Stop that. Rise above that. Take 2021 for you. Make you happy because that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure all my surroundings is protected with God's armor. I don't want none of that last year crap and the years before that. I'm good. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't mending. I ain't do I meant I forgave. In my heart and God knows I forgave whom done me wrong, who wished ill upon me, who tries to cause drama. I wish all y'all blessings because y'all not gonna take my piece away no so um what else all right by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plot and i already smell it a mile away mm, sounds like a plot to me sis we're not going that route i'm good like i'm good with not legitimately having friends like no i'm good i'm my own friend because i only have my own back because I have just the worst experience with friends. Guys, like, I can't do it. I mean, I don't know what it is. Like, I guess I'm just too real, I guess. Because, I don't know. But anyways, only God knows. Um, by speaking the truth and love, may grow up in all things into him who is the head. Christ. And it's true. When you rebuke negativity with positivity, ooh, it makes you feel like, oh, wait a minute. Who is you? Wait a minute, Sharice. Because I used to be so full of anger 
and so hurt because the way people would treat me because yo i don't be bad like why are you treating me that way all right tell me about myself if i'm acting a certain way or if i came off wrong but don't be just straight disrespectful or whatever because the person i am i wouldn't do that to you but i'm not even searching for that it's straight cutting off that's it so I hope you guys make 2000 I'm gonna take like I said I'm gonna take a picture put it in the link inside the um video and I hope I helped and I hope you guys take back your you know your your whole being your person your person now who you are don't let no one try to detour you from 2020 and being your year it's your year I'm telling you God said it's your year it's your year your it's our year Take it back. No one deserves that ability. Are you crazy? You who you are and I'm who I am. Why well, I look like letting somebody who's miserable, who who can't even really be in drama, but wants to bring you into their drama because, why wow, they're miserable. So now you lose everything you worked hard for spiritually, mentally, and physically for someone who don't care? Nah. So before anything, check your spiritual growth. And then you will see everything comes into place. All right, guys. Take care. God bless. Happy Saturday. And let me get in the store. Oh, Lord. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> also, what I mean about spiritual growth, meaning that you got to take back you. Take back everything that makes you out of character that makes you disrupt your peace take back everything that is not for you and you know it's not for you because now we're gonna realize okay it's okay to say no it's okay not to react even if they lie in dirt listen put you through the soil my everything it's okay to say i'm not going to entertain that for what it doesn't make you a punk it doesn't make you whatever the streets want to call you no, it makes you mature. It makes you realize your sanity. It makes you realize whom you are. And it makes you say, I don't got the time to, to involve myself in such buffoonery. That's what it is, buffoonery. When you got so much to give positive, you don't really really got time for negative you don't got time to clear up he said she said or you don't got time to allow things to disrupt your peace because you already recognize because your growth is right there saying wait we're gonna think about this girl we're gonna think about this man right here we're gonna think about it is it gonna help you as a person or is it gonna literally shoot down everything you worked hard for because when somebody got a lot when somebody got a lot to lose we, we gotta back up but when someone don't have nothing to lose they will do whatever it takes to see everyone else miserable or even when they have things all right and they are maybe above you i don't know as far as materialistic wise and they still find time to bring down people even though when they are so-called blessed on a high pedestal because they got this new car and now they think they're better than everybody or they got this or materialistic so that makes them better than the next but they still find time to be negative that's because they haven't grown so are we gonna feed that energy back no, they need help. So why are you going to argue with someone or entertain something or someone that is already struggling within themselves? I'm not going there with you. You already can't handle your own life. You're not going to disrupt my life. Honey, you better bring your knees down and pray to God to help you with what you're trying to bring into my life. Because I'm not going to allow that. So once they see that you're not allowing that, sweetie, there's nothing you can do. I mean, they can do, sorry. There's a lot you can do. But then they can do to get you out of care. Because you're like, listen, I'm not even. I don't breathe life into dead situations. I don't breathe air into to things that don't need to be breathing my way. I'm not doing it. So don't let yourself get caught up in the way of the world that they see you doing good. So you're like, but why? I don't bother nobody. Oh, but why, Lord? Why is this happening? Listen, honey, 
God, God put things in our path, or God gave us things that we can't handle, right? That's what people say. Well, why you give me this? I can't. Yes, you can. God sent you to sue that baby. There's a blessing coming. So all this negativity, pass it by. Like, let's shoot. Go that way. You know what I mean? Like, nah, we good on that. I'm not entertaining. Like, why God? Why am I being? No, that's just the devil. He put it this way. That's just the devil trying to get his way with you. So before you question God, pray. Be like, no, I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. I'm not going through this. I came too far to even be brought down by either something or an individual who themselves don't even know what they're fighting. They got battles within themselves that they're too busy involved in someone else's life that they got things to handle on their own, but they don't realize it because of what? No growth. So you can't tell me you're so blessed and you still got time to feel, to, to talk negative on people? Honey, you can write hashtag bless all you want. Are you really though, spiritually? Because sheet metal and materialistic designer this, a uh, designer shoes, and that don't make your happiness. What makes your happiness is you and God first, then you. So before you try to throw any negativity my way, just make sure you're good in your heart. Make sure you're good in your heart. <laughs> make sure that your growth is there. Because in the meantime, all I see is bitterness, negativity, and somebody needs to work on themselves or an individual who needs to work. Uh-uh. I don't, I don't entertain that with people because you don't know what people are going through and they want to take all that on me. Ah, uh, no. I got a lot on my plate. I got four children. I got a husband and I work so hard, like I said before. And nothing bothers me no more. In a sense where I have feelings, yeah. But you think I'm gonna really go there and be like, oh my God, what? No, honey, I block them. You see these? Bye. Give it to God. <laughs> Just give it to God. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go home before my man calls me. All right, bye. And another thing too, what family, also, they say, oh, yeah, we family. You're not supposed to get down like that. You're right. So remember that when you're trying to hurt me, when you try to bring me down because of you afraid of my potential. Don't, don't try to belittle me or, or lower my shine because you are not secure in your space. Leave me be. But we family. We friends. We're this, we're that. But you don't like it. When I tell you about yourself. So no. I'm not going to bring you on this journey with me. No, you need to grow. I got to surround myself with people who are growing. Not stagnated. In the same rut. And singing the same tune. Oh, this. Oh, I can't find that. Apply yourself. Stop. Stop it. Stop speaking into existence. Stop giving the devil energy but said i can't go to work i can't do this i can't do no one trying to hire me no one trying to be my friend listen you talk too negative no wonder why nobody want to be around you all you do is speak negativity surround yourself with people who are uplifting uplift yourself change your ways change your surroundings maybe you'll grow that way but you will never know until you be real with yourself that's what i'm saying be real with yourself that's it I said all 2021, baby. Look, that's it. Give me a TV show. <laughs> I don't know. But all right, y'all. I'm going to go home. And um, I have to clean my glasses, first of all. Like, I don't understand how. Okay, whatever. All right, guys. God bless. And make sure you take your growth serious. Don't let no one try to tear you from your growth. Don't let nobody try to tell you you're stupid, dumb, ignorant. You never amount to nothing. You ain't nobody because you always going to be somebody. Remember that. God didn't put you on this earth for nothing. God put you on this earth for a purpose. Now, what you do with it is up to you. Nobody else's responsibility. But you, everybody struggles. Everybody has a path. But that shouldn't stop you from going to the places you want to go. Because if you really want it, you won't complain how somebody left you in the past. Somebody done hurt you in your past. Okay, move on. We got to get up and go going because ain't nobody going to hear. Here you go. Here's a here's this. Oh, nobody gave you money. No, you got to go out and get it, baby. 
survival of the fittest. And what God got you, he got you. He going to make sure if it's for you, you can have it. If it's not, it's not. You can't get mad if it's not yours and it's not meant to be. I used to be the same way. Ugh. Oh my God, I probably don't know why she got it. Or that, she's not even equipped. Listen, watch your mouth. Because God hears that. And listen, maybe we're not equipped for the job. And God said, mm -mm, not your time. Maybe we're not equipped for that friendship. Nope, not your friend. Even though we may feel otherwise, but God knows what's in our best interest. So let's not fight that no more. No more. <laughs> let's just say, you know what, God? Like I said before, guys, in my other videos, I put all my faith and trust in you. It is what it is. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Why I can't date this person. Why I can't be friends with this person. Why I can't be seeing eye to eye with my family. Why I can't see eye to eye with my spouse. Why I can't see the eye with my children or my child or whatever. My significant God. I just leave it all in your hands. I just pray you give me the guidance and the strength, Lord. All right to address these situations open my eyes lord god to see the things the way you want me to see them not what i want to see because sometimes we're too fixated on what we want to see that god saying hold on let me show you first and sometimes we rush it and then guys end up saying you see you should have waited for me baby i learned that too i learned that too that goes for love, you guys. That goes for friendship. And sometimes that goes for family. You know? So, I, I, I mean, I mean, it's 2021. I'm 34. I'm trying to make moves more than moves. And that's one thing about me, all right? Like, I used to get so down on myself, even with my weight. With me personally, like, I should be in this place at this time in my life. Listen, everything happens for a reason. God knows why. I ain't lose all that weight or get my tummy tuck yet because you had an issue with your ovaries, Sharice. Let's take care of that first, then we move on. Okay? You can't work out, and every time you work out, you got pain, you're killing yourself. That's not fair to your kids who are so close to you and your husband. Now, Lord forbid, something happens. Now, my man, my husband now is a single daddy because Lord forbid I die, Lord forbid. I don't know. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, but I'm just saying, let God handle our way and grow. Grow spiritual. I, I know I, I dabbled in some different, you know, spiritual things or, um, you know, ways. But I mean, right now in this conversation, so it's so wrong. But you know, I'm 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 in my life where I'm looking at it like, you know what? No, I'm not rushing no more for nothing. If it's mine, it's mine. If it's for me, God will let no man block it. No matter what any, no matter no matter what an enemy, a family member, or friend, whoever, or whatever. If it's for you, God gonna open all the doors that no man can't. Dip. Have a good night or day, whenever you at. <laughs> Bye, y'all.